Hey, Virgo. Uh, I don't know if you just watched the other reading I put out. Power to the motherfucking Virgo. Um, um, hitting bankrupt. And at the end of that, I said that I was going to tell you all what I dreamed, what I experienced this morning because I was up. Well, I can't even say that I was asleep because I know I remember waking up, rolling over and waking up. And all of a sudden I saw this image above me. I saw a little boy. OK, uh, he had fine hair. It was black, fine hair. And I don't know if he was of Indian descent, like a, a Native American or, or if he was from, from India, but he had dark color skin, but he wasn't black. So um, I don't know. I just saw from his head down to right, right above his belly butt, button, and I didn't see anything else. He was just floating there. And he looked at me. And when I looked him in his eyes, I I jolted because I was I had rolled over and I had opened my eyes and he was there. My heart started racing really, really fast. Like I was in some kind of panic. And usually when I have dreams uh, about messages to pass on to somebody, I get that same feeling. My heart start racing and I wake up. But I was already woke. You know, so it was I don't I don't know who that was. I don't know if, if that was a spirit guide or or if that was maybe somebody one of you all know who this individual is. I don't know. OK, so I'm just going to do a reading about uh messages from the other side okay virgo messages from the other side from virgo and we're going to see what their signs are okay messages from the other side from virgo what are the person's signs please messages from the other side from virgo i've never had anything like that happen we got the taurus this could have been a talk a taurus or you have a taurus from the other side this is a little boy probably about Nine or ten, okay. Messages uh, for Virgo, Libra. So if you had a Taurus, a Libra. Messages from the other side for Virgo. And we have Pisces. One more, please. Messages from the other side from Virgo, please. For Virgo, message from the other side. And we have Cancer. Okay. Taurus, bottom of the deck, Capricorn. Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, and Capricorn. So these are your messages from the other side. Hold on. Who is this boy who visited me this morning, Spirit? Let's ask this question. Who is this little boy who visited me this morning, please? The Two of Wands. The King of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. The Ten of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. Followed by the Emperor. The bottom of the deck. A broken heart. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is a message for somebody who lost a child and this child is trying to get a message through to you. But if you're planning on going somewhere and you don't have enough money, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, locate, relocate, do what it is that you need to do. And that's when you're going to find that will of fortune. Once you release what no longer serves you. Excuse me, you got to release this situation. If you want something different in your life, you got to make a move. Okay. Uh, we see love here coming for you as what well. If this if some lover comes tries to come back to you, keep on walking away from this person. Because if you get back with this person, this person may promise you, you know, the moon, the stars, and everything in between, but he's still a player or she's still a player. Don't do it. Okay. So the Queen of Cups, maybe you had a child who is no longer with us and she or he he is telling you that don't go back to this man because this man is going to still break your heart with other women. Don't do it, mama, auntie, grandma, whoever. Don't do it. OK, uh, if you're if you're if this person is no longer in your life, they're telling you this person is trying to sell you pipe dreams. OK, so don't do it. OK, what is this man's sign? OK, what is this man's sign? Ooh, Virgo. So you know somebody, okay? Maybe you had somebody who passed away in your life. It doesn't have to be a child. Well, it doesn't have to be your child. It could be a brother. It could be a sister, but it could be a brother or somebody. It could be your spirit guide. Just warning you don't get back with this person and they have the energy of a Virgo, okay? 
The energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, and humble with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. Okay. So your spirit guide is a Virgo, or it could be a Virgo family member who passed away and who's warning you about this person. Okay. Whether this person pass away before you got with this person, with this man here, okay? They're giving you a warning, giving you a, giving you a heads up. If you get back with this person, you're going to be hurt again. So don't take them back, okay? All right. And we still have Capricorn here. Okay, so let's see. Taurus, the energy around you shows the abundance of nurture, of nature. It is rich, earthy, and productive, yet relaxed and slow. So if you are dealing with a Taurus, or if, you're, if you have a, a Taurus who has passed on, what message do they have? Do they have for you, Virgo? Your Taurus, what message does he or she have for you? Or they? I have become one of your guides. I think I said that. Okay, or at least this person who I dream about maybe was a guide to you. However, I see all of your thoughts and I watch over you every day. Okay. No, I have. Now I have no pain. They are no longer in pain where they are. They want you to know that they're okay. If you've been dreaming about this person or really, really thinking about this person, this person sends you their thoughts. Okay. Uh, they send you messages probably through song and you hear it and, um, and ultimately think about them. They're letting you know uh, that they're okay. What message does this person have for Virgo if they're a Taurus? We have work. What message do they have for you? Or go if they are a Taurus, communicate. Uh, okay, they want you to talk at work. There's going to be some fast communication at work. A new a promotion at work is coming your way. Okay, we're going to see what the energy around if your passed on one is a Libra. The energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. So what do they want to say? This could be a lover who passed away. Okay, this could be a significant other, a husband or a wife. Who is no longer with you okay what does your person have to say to you Virgo your significant other was on the other side oh we are soulmates they're letting you know that you were their soulmate you're gonna always be their soulmate what else do they want to tell you don't be afraid don't be afraid What does your Libra want to say? I, I, I'm coming home. You know, this person wants you to know that they love you. You are you. They are clarifying that you are their soulmate. OK, but more so that they're going to keep coming to you through dreams. Your person and thoughts. When you think about certain things or you may have a certain thought that clicks to you, they let you let you know that I'm here with you. I'm always around you. And some of you may have had a miscarriage or something when you got pregnant with the child or the child or um, the child is with the with your your soulmate. So even if you had a child before you met this person and some of you have had um, spontaneous miscarriages, probably didn't even know you're pregnant. You thought it was just a heavy period. That child is with your significant other on the other side. OK, they're happy together. They want you to know that everything is a OK. Okay. What other messages does this Libra have for you, Virgo? Wheel of Fortune. Some things are changing for you very, very rapidly. Okay. And we have marriage. I'm sending you your husband or I'm sending you your wife. No worries. I'm sending you your spouse. Okay. Everything is okay to move forward in love because I'm sending you the person that I want you to marry. Okay. Okay, Virgos, if you have a, per a Pisces who is no longer with you, what is the message for you? This energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. It confuses and softens. It confuses and softens resolve, okay? It confuses and softens with we resolve. What is this message, Virgo, from your Pisces on the other side? Pisces on the other side. You have nothing to feel guilty about. Wow. You have nothing to feel guilty about. The energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. It confuses and softens resolve. They don't want you to feel guilty about anything. They don't want you to take responsibility. Don't even touch it. Don't even go there with this person. Okay? 
You don't have anything to feel guilty about, okay? My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to guilt. Some of you all had a, a Pisces who is no longer with you and they don't want you to hold on to any guilt. You don't have anything to feel guilty about. They're telling you, hell, it's lovely where I'm at. It's beautiful here. I should be worried about you. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. If you had an argument with this person or, or you didn't see this person before they passed away, maybe you didn't get there in time before they passed away. Don't feel guilty about it. Don't sweat it. They don't, they're not worried about it. You shouldn't because they're in the land of milk and honey. Okay. What is it that they don't want you to feel guilty about, Virgo? What do they not want you to feel guilty about? Holding back. Yeah, not seeing them before they went before they passed away. Yeah, you didn't you you didn't see this person before they ascended, okay? You held back. You probably had some sort of disagreement or argument. You say, uh-uh, nope, I'm not going to do it. You changed your mind. You didn't do it, whatever the situation was. And you didn't get there before they ascended to a higher level. You just didn't do it. And they don't want you to feel guilty about that. You can't hold on to this, okay? You got to let it go. We're going to see Virgos who are mourning a, a cancer or you're wanting to hear what the cancer from the other side has to say. The energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother or a child. I was going to say, uh, maybe this person has Libra in their chart as well, because I'm seeing a child. Maybe you lost a child uh, or in, in childbirth. Maybe the child was stillborn or something. So we're going to see this baby was probably, a, a I want to say Pisces, uh, was a cancer. So we're going to see what's going on with this cancer who is no longer with you, Virgo. Messages for cancer Virgos dealing with this cancer. What messages from the other side, please? From the other side. I will always point you in the right direction. I am so much better now. Okay. There is no such thing as death. I was met by so many loving people. Okay. I was met by so many loving people. So this could have been a mother who passed away and left young children, you know, like years ago and the, ch the children are grown and uh, you didn't get a chance to talk to your children and let them know you probably died in childbirth or shortly thereafter you left an infant for other people to take care of or whatever the situation like I'm talking to, to the person who passed away. But they uh, may have left you. You were probably a young child or, or newborn, and, and they passed away from some illness or something shortly after birth. I'm hearing something about a transfusion, maybe a blood transfusion, or somebody passed away. I'm hearing blood transfusion um, back, you know, when they weren't testing the quality of blood like they're doing now, probably from, from HIV or AIDS or something like this. That it ha doesn't have to be. But it's shortly after childbirth for some. But the baby is fine, grew up fine, built, grew up a normal child, a normal life, um, possibly through, through C-section, something like that. Save the mother or save the child. Somebody had to make a decision, but ultimately spirit made the decision and, and mother went to heaven or something. You know what? You know how it resonates if, it, if this is reading is for you. OK, what other message do you have for cancer here? The person was on the other side of her Virgo, the cancer. They were met by so many loving people. They are not alone where they are. And they're telling you, if you have, if you ever have a decision to make, they will always point. You just say their name and ask spirit to bring this person into your energy so they can point you into the right direction. They are so much better right now. Right, They are so much better now. And they aren't suffering. suffering. There is no such thing as death because they have ascended to a higher level. They are ascended to their calling, their current calling. Okay. That was met by so many people, so many people. So us, they're celebrating, they're having a good time. They were met by so many people, and then it was this party time, okay? They're having a good time. This person probably would like to party when they were younger or when they were on, you know, breathe, living, okay? When they were on this side of life, and they're still celebrating. They want you to celebrate life too, okay? Life is too short to be unhappy. Yeah, you're everything. This person wants you to know whatever it is that you want to do. You can do because this because you got them in you. You have their spirit and their nature inside of you. So this person left you with a lot of magical gifts. You got to learn to use them because you have everything you need inside of you. Okay, you got the magician. But some of you all are being held back from fear that you won't please other people. You worry about what other people say. So what? They want you to live on and move on with your life and, and stop mourning theirs. They didn't say to forget about them. 
They want you to move on with yours and be happy and celebrate life, okay? They're celebrating life on the other side, Virgo. This cancer wants you to celebrate life on this side and move on. Maybe you're going to get a new car. Maybe it's time for you to move to a different location. Whatever you're doing, they're sending you those blessings. So many different things are coming your way. But also, you're shooting yourself in the foot, in the foot about a situation and you need to find strength and let, let a certain situation go because you're holding on too tight to what no longer serves you. Okay, you gotta let it go. But they're sending you the strength that you need to walk away from what no longer serves you. But they can't do it for you, you have to do it for yourself. So I have Virgo dealing with a past on Virgo, and I have Virgo dealing with a past on um, Capricorn. So we wanna see uh, what messages uh, want to come out for that. So give me a moment, let me get my cards back straight so I can get some more room. <clears throat> By the way, if you're new to the channel, I thank you so very much for, for being around. Okay, so we have Virgo who has a, a Virgo, a fellow Virgo who is no longer with us. The energy is dutiful, hesitant, and humble with a discriminating and diligent and painstaking air. Okay, what messages does your fellow Virgo have for you from the other side, Virgo? Don't be afraid of anything or anybody, okay? Don't be a punk, okay? There is no time. There is no time where I am. Time is only on earth. Um, let's clarify this time card for Virgo, please. Why is this card here? Don't worry so much about time. Don't be so uh, stringent when it comes to time. If you're if you're thinking about a home or your home's foundation, if there's something that you need to do, don't sweat it so much. Stop worrying so much about stuff you can't change. There are going to be some changes around your home life in due time, but you're worrying yourself in the ground thinking about it so much. Just let it go. Let it go. Ease up on whatever it is that you're thinking about, Virgo, and just chill the fuck out. Time, time, time. Slow down. Okay. What are their messages for you, Virgo? This person, this Virgo, who is no longer with you. I'm hearing dad for somebody. And I have, we are soulmates. This could be a soulmate. It doesn't have to be a lover to be your soulmate. You're very close, maybe a best friend or a family member who you're very close to or somebody in your life, your soulmate. But they're telling you, don't worry about it. It was just my time to go, sugar. Okay? It was just my time to go, sugar. That's what I'm hearing. To be a grandmother, we will be together again. Believe that. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe this person was a fan of uh, Karate Kid when um, Karate when Ma Ralph Macchio was in the water and he had to do that little kick thing, learn the kick thing or something like that when he was on the, the pillar. So maybe this person, or maybe you all watched that when you were younger, Karate Kid. Okay. And I'm so I'm hearing that song. I bet you by golly, wow. That's the song I'm hearing. And we have here, if I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. So what is this Virgo, Virgo referring to? If they had lived differently then, how would they have lived differently? What is it that they're referring to, Virgo? This Virgo, what is they, what are they, what is they? What are they referring to, spirits? On the other side, about if they had lived differently then, or what would they know now? Not to get into so much trouble, not to let shit bother them, not to let so many things hinder them from moving forward. Being able to walk away from situations that no longer serve them so they wouldn't get hurt. That's what they want you to understand. You need to learn how to walk the fuck away, especially from a relationship that no longer serves you, Virgo. You got to let it go. If this situation no longer serves you, your Virgo on the other side is saying, let it go. Because had, if I had only known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. I wouldn't let that bastard hurt me. I wouldn't let him or her stay, into my, stay in my life if I found out they cheated on me. I wouldn't have held on to a bunch of nonsense, okay? They want you to understand the same damn thing. Move the fuck on, okay? Move on, Virgo. Now we're going to see what's going on with Capricorn, okay? Virgos who have a Capricorn on the other side, what are your messages? Virgos, we have a Capricorn from the other side. What are your messages? I 
keep hearing that song, Virgo, for Virgo. Bet you by golly, wow. What you gonna Capricorn, dealing with Virgo. Virgo, dealing with Capricorn from the other side. The energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition, okay? What does this Capricorn want or need for you to know, Virgo? Somebody smokes? Mm. Somebody smokes? Maybe they smoked. <clears throat> Maybe they had lung cancer. I watch over you every day. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you, Virgo. Mm. The Capricorn wants you to know that they love you so much. They wish they would have told you uh, when they were alive how much they loved you. But they're, also, they don't want you to be afraid. They are learning over here where they are. They're learning, okay, of things that they didn't know, that they wish they knew here on earth. Like like you're in the land of living. They're, one, they're saying, like, man, I should have told you how much I loved you then, but I didn't, okay? I was so guarded, okay, because I didn't know how to love because I, I didn't feel like I was being loved or raised the, the right way when I was younger. So it was impossible for, for me to tell you that I loved you because I was never told that I was loved by the people who raised me, okay? Don't be afraid to share, tell someone you love them, Virgo. Um, somebody's phone rings and you don't hear anybody on the other end. I'm hearing, I just called to say I love you. If you don't, if, if your phone rings and maybe a number does not show up or the number is unrecognizable or you get one, 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 or two, 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 all these numbers on your caller ID and you don't hear anybody, I just called to say I love you. <sighs> That's your person from the other side. They're they're letting you know that I love you. Okay, I'm watching over you every day. So if you get a phone call and you get some numbers on there that you don't know who these numbers belong to, and you call it back and you don't get an answer, you already got your answer. That's the Capricorn. Just calling to say I love you. Okay. This person was was shut off because they didn't know how to love. Though they love you, they didn't know how to say it. Okay. We have the Emperor and we have the the nine of pentacles. He didn't he or she didn't know how to tell you that they love you, but they did. Okay. So we got the fool card. And they want you to speak your truth and tell somebody that if you love somebody, tell them. Okay. Tell them how much they make you happy. Relationship, family, friendship, whatever. Learn how to tell people that you love them. Pick up the phone after this reading and say, baby, I just want you to know I love you. Sister, brother, uncle, whatever, I love you. Friend, I love you. Whoever. Baby, girl, daughter, whatever. I love you. Son, I love you. Okay, because this person wants you to know, I just called to tell you that I love you. You hear messages and or phone calls, and you don't hear anybody on the other end. That's them. Tell the person who you love that they how happy they make you. Okay, don't hold it in. That's what that was their problem. That's what they're saying here. Okay, I wish I had told you more often how much I love you, and I didn't do it. Okay. This person probably called you dear heart, okay? But this person, even though they're on the other side, is just holding on to the fact like, wow, even though I'm in the land of milk and honey, I'm in paradise, things here are beautiful for me and amazing. I want you to tell people I loved you because I didn't say that enough when I was living. And I'm so sorry for that, okay? But don't feel, don't be afraid when you hear a phone or when you hear me brush across your face with that butterfly kiss, Okay. Ten of Pentacles, uh, Ten of, of Cups. Tell somebody how much you love them, because I, that's the one thing on my um, while I'm I, the one thing that while I'm while I'm on the other side, or now that I'm on the other side, the biggest regret is is leaving this world without telling you I loved you for the last time, because I'm gonna always love you forever and ever. But I'm sorry I didn't say it enough. Okay, so they're trying to communicate this with you, letting you know they're on the other side and saying I'm sorry for not telling you that I loved you enough. OK, that's my warm regret that that Capricorn has for you, Virgo. All right. I hope this message resonates. If you all want to see me do readings like this with all the signs, let me know. I think it might be a good idea for me to do. OK, so if you want to see me do it with all the signs, I'll do that as well. So talk to you later. I hope, it, I hope you're able to resonate with one, if not all the messages. All right.